with the rise of new age technologies such as artificial intelligence and the proliferation of internet access all across India, it is an opportune time for India to invest in new age digital technologies. Hello and welcome to War India News R. India has been leading the world in building its own technology industry as well as talent base. We are relentlessly marching towards being the de facto top choice for setting up scale technology and capability centers. The Indian tech industry today stands on the cusp of the next leg of explosive growth and transformation from being a global IT service and outsourcing leader to becoming an IP-led software products and platforms powerhouse. Despite recent global headwinds, we have seen consistent growth in the technology sector. With the rapid technology adoption across sectors, we are well poised to become a $5 trillion economy soon. The best companies are leveraging technology to scale and grow. The budget must focus on investing in tech R&D, product innovation and technology solutions and services and ensuring 5G services all over the country. With cloud and data technologies becoming the de facto standard for business to operate, Gartner estimates that the public cloud spending in India will grow 27% year-on-year in 2023. Amidst this, there is a need for the government to focus on incentivizing the use of cloud services and deep tech like AI, blockchain, etc. across industries. In 2023 and beyond, upskilling of talent in an environment driven by technology will be a mission critical. The government has made great strides towards this through the Skill India program. All the forecasted growth can be watershed as the cyber attacks are increasing in terms of scale and complexity, making it one of the biggest threats enterprise face today. Amidst this, there is an urgent need to build a talent pool that is equipped to handle new age sophisticated attacks. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. India expected to cross $26 trillion economy by 2047. As the world is witnessing the World Economic Forum's latest summit at Davos, Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav said that India is expected to surpass the $26 trillion economy by the year 2047. The minister highlighted that under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership, India has taken a very consistent path towards growth, which is investment-driven and provides long-term productivity gains. Government considers to ban fake news identified on social media. According to a draft proposal of India's IT rules released recently, the government will not permit social media platforms to host any information that is identified as fake or false by the Press Information Bureau or by any other agency authorized for fact-checking or by its department in which such business is transacted. The social media platforms or other online intermediaries would have to make reasonable efforts to ensure users do not host, display, upload, modify, publish, transmit, store, update or share any such information. Researchers discover vulnerability in Microsoft Azure services. Four different Microsoft Azure services have been found vulnerable to server-side request forgery attacks that could be exploited to gain unauthorized access to cloud resources. Two of the vulnerabilities affecting Azure Functions and Azure Digital Twins could be abused without requiring any authentication, enabling a threat actor to seize control of a server without even having an Azure account in the first place. Meti launches new technology to monitor air quality. Electronics and Information Technology Secretary Alkesh Kumar Sharma has launched the technology for air quality monitoring system developed under Meti-supported projects. The Center for Development of Advanced Computing Kolkata has developed an outdoor air quality monitoring station to monitor environmental pollutants in collaboration with Texmin SIM Dhanbad under the National Program on Electronics and ICT Applications in Agriculture and Environment. CBI awaiting sanction to prosecute Chitra Ramakrishna. The Central Bureau of Investigations is still awaiting the permission from the National Stock Exchange Board to prosecute Chitra Ramakrishna, the former MD and CEO of NSE. She was arrested by the CBI in March 2022, nearly four years after an FIR was registered by the agency in the scam related to misuse of NSE's high-tech trading infrastructure. Both Chitra Ramakrishna and NSE's longest-serving MD Ravi Narayan, who was arrested in September 2022, were granted bail by a Delhi court in the co-location case, one of the reasons that the CBI could not secure permission to prosecute them. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.